Well, Marco, this was uh, another wild game against Manitoba. Eh? I mean, it seems like you guys can't can't get away with a simple win against these guys. Yeah, no, no. I mean, we, I think we played pretty good. First period was obviously tough coming out of the break, but in the second period we played good. But in the third, we we kind of lost it for a couple of minutes. They they scored three quick goals, but good win as always. Uh, important two points, and that's the most important thing I think. With the way Manitoba played in the third period, your goal was huge to make sure this game was stayed tied after 60 minutes here. What kind of happened on that play? I mean, it's always fun to, to score. It kind of bounced, like, I mean, good play by, by Mason and, and Bergie, it bounced in the middle. And you got to have some luck too, and it, it, it went in, and that's, that's always good to score and uh, get us going in the third. I mean, it seems like you've really picked up the production as well here over the last couple of months here. Is, that, is there any level of confidence that's been growing with you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we work really hard in practice, so we, we work for our confidence, I think, and it shows in games. And we just trying to continue working hard and get better every day. You ever scored a goal like that between the legs like that? Uh, I don't think so. I'm, no, I don't think so. So it's yeah. something you practice regularly? No, I don't practice regularly. No, I think sometimes when you go out, fool around a little bit. Situational type yeah. thing. <laughs> um, how would you assess your season thus far? I mean, it started off not not great. I think we we didn't win as many games, and then I didn't play my best hockey. I think I just tried to work hard every day in practice. That's that's my mindset. That's the mindset for for the whole team. And then we grew grew more as a team. And and I think uh, we've battled hard in games, battled hard in, in practice, and it shows off in the past couple of weeks that we've played better hockey too. What's been the most challenging part about coming to the AHL? I think just adjusting to the smaller ice. It's it's way more battles. I think it's a lot like a really physical game compared to Europe. I think and. And just getting used to that as a, as a young player is hard, but uh, all the guys have helped me out a lot, and it's it's been it's been good now the past couple of weeks. You guys are on a pretty good run. I think only lost two or three times since the end of December. Is there a turning point in the season where things just kind of clicked, or? Uh, I don't know. I think you could if you if you watch this practice. Like we, we work really hard, and that, that's what we really focus on. I'm just just keep saying that we try to get better every day, but that's that's just how it is. Like get out there, compete really hard in games and practices. If I told you at the beginning of the season that. This team was capable of going on a run like that. What would you say? No, I always, I always believed in my teammates and our team, coaching staff. I think we believed in ourselves. We've played uh, okay hockey in the beginning, just didn't get the results, and, and now, now we've, we've started winning hockey games. Well, Zarnik, you know, a big game, big game for the team tonight. Obviously, the way to rally back and get the shootout win. You know, what were your overall thoughts on how the team played coming out of the break here? Um, I think first two periods we were really good. We uh, capitalized on our chances. Played simple, got the puck to the net, and scored a couple goals. So I think obviously in the third we had a little let down, but you know we stayed with it, ended up winning, and that was that's all that matters. How did the power play you think look tonight? I know you almost, you got the one call back against you on the yeah. Mazer, but obviously some good looks for you guys. You think? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's you know a couple of days off from it. You know it's a little different, um, and we got Taro back, so a little bit different unit. But you know I think you know if that, if he puts that in and it counts, it's great. But we went zero two, but that's all right. I mean I think we had good looks, we had good chances, and and we'll go from there. Picking up steam a little bit yourself too. Four goals in, in the last six games for you here. What do you think has it been the line mates? Has it been the chances you're getting? Um, I don't know. Just trying to work hard. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, work hard and just get your opportunities. So um, you know, just keep on shooting the puck, and hopefully, good things will happen. How do you explain the run this team's been on since the end of December? Second. How do you explain the run this team's been on since the end of December? Uh, you know, it's exciting for us. Um, I think we're doing the right things every day. Uh, guys are working hard, and we're getting results right now. So I think we just got to keep it, keep it going here, um, and just keep on playing the way you play. How's the transition from you know you're playing in Detroit, you're playing in Grand Rapids? How is it? Is it a seamless transition, or is there a you know kind of adjustment period? How does that work? Um, you know, obviously different roles in both areas, but that's pretty much it. You know, I'm used to the travel back and forth. Um, so that's not that big of a deal to me, but you know, obviously it's just a different different role that I'm in now, and that's what I want to do. I want to try to help the team win. Are the systems pretty similar to? Is yeah, the transition easier? for the most part, they're pretty much the same. They might have one or two different things, but it's easy to switch back to this, so it's uh, it's pretty easy. The shootout one? Yeah. No, uh, the, no the, the first one. The first one? <laughs> uh, no, it was just, uh, we were kind of in our D zone there, and then um, uh, we made a couple good plays coming out of the zone, and then Wally made a great pass to me across the ice, and I was lucky enough to put it in. Were you looking five hole all the time, or just no, no. happened to work out? Uh, I think it got deflected, but uh, okay. I'll take it. What do you attribute to this um, kind of hot stretch you guys have been on for the last couple months, month and a half? Yeah, I think for us it's just kind of everyone's buying in. Um, kind of even before the stretch we were on, we were playing good hockey. Um, ultimately, we just weren't getting results that we, we were hoping for night in, night out, and then uh, we just kind of kept sticking to what we were doing, and now now we're getting the results, and it's, it's been good. Had a couple blown leads here in the past couple games. Is that concerning at all, or? Um, I don't. I mean, it's always you never want to be able to blow lead. You want to be able to play with the lead at all times. But um, I think it says a lot, kind of, about our group that um, 
even like tonight, they, they were able to score three and tie it up. Um, we were able to get the two points, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Can you ever uh, maybe ask Watson why it took you so long to get the shootout here? I'm no. Just <laughs> earlier. Uh, no, I was just sitting at the end of the bench, and uh, sooner or later, I mean, you can only shoot, one guy can only shoot, so I knew sooner or later I'd probably get a chance, and uh, I was lucky enough to score. You typically do good in shootouts, or? Um, occasionally. I kind of, I got a couple moves that I, I work off, and uh, luckily the one tonight worked. You know, early in the season, it seemed like the Griffins were going to have to try to scrape in the playoff spot. Now here you guys are battling for second place and trying to climb up near first place in the division. Do you think that was ever going to happen the way things started this year? Uh, I think so. Um, like I said, in our group, we're, we're such a tight group in the locker room. Um, there's no doubt in this locker room. Uh, we knew that even when we weren't getting results, we knew we just got to stick to it and they were going to come. And um, everyone's kind of bought in and, and believe in each other, and that's the most important thing that it's kind of helping us get results here. Going into tomorrow night's game here, obviously, you know, you know what to expect out of Manitoba. We've had a lot of close games with this team here. What do you think the Griffins need to do to try to get the weekend sweep? Um, I think we just got to stick to kind of what we did tonight, minus the, the couple minute stretch here where we let in a couple goals. Um, we know it's even going to be harder tomorrow. It's always tough kind of, kind of playing two, the same team back to back nights. And, um, we know they're going to come out just as hard or if not harder. So we just got to match it and, and kind of stick to our game. Well, Coach, another wild game against Manitoba. Can you guys have one regular game against these guys? <laughs> no, no. Uh, you know what? Give them a ton of credit. They, they got that momentum there in the third. Uh, after their third goal, they scored the one, they two, three, and um, you know, we were able to hang on there and, and win at the shootout. But uh, I think overall we played a pretty good game outside of, outside of probably four minutes. So, um, again, it was a wild one. We kind of, they were trying to do what we did to them twice in, in their building, but, again, able to hang on. What was the message when you took that timeout? Obviously, you wanted to calm the boys down. That's exactly it. Just relax, play our game, get back to staying connected and moving pucks past their pressure and, and get, you know, basically just making sure we're, we're not losing our mental focus because that's usually what can happen. Uh, physically, we're involved, but mentally, you know, you can lose it and just trying to make sure we, we get back and, and uh, get them back uh, mentally on the bench for the next shift. What was the most important part coming out of the break? Obviously, a long layoff, all-star break, guys kind of hanging out. You know, well, did you like the team start here tonight? Yeah, I did. I did. I liked our first period. I liked our second for the most part. I mean, yeah, there's some, you know, turnovers and, and uh, some missed coverage at time, but that's going to happen. You just have to make sure you live with it. Don't make those same mistakes multiple times. But I, I felt like our compete level was high. Uh, we talked enough about where Manitoba's at, expect a push, a desperate team, an urgent team. Um, I think we saw that, and I thought we handled it, handled it coming out of the break as good as we could. Zarnik gets a goal, but the guy that really created that play was Elmer Soderblom. It seems like he's playing with a lot more confidence over the last couple of Well, he's using, his, he's using his frame. He's using his body the right way. He's physical at the right times. Uh, you know, the, the play I love the most, he shot through a screen. He didn't try to go around somebody. He, he used the screen, got the puck to the net, and Zarnik cleaned up the rebound. So he is. He's playing better. He's moving his feet. You know, he's looking like the player that we've seen last year, and, and it spurts this year. Blown leads concerning at all? You had one against Belleville a couple weeks no, ago. No, no, not at all. Uh, you saw the plays that happened. Uh, got beat once. Uh, you know, missed miss play by a goaltender. Uh, third one, I think, was more panic button. Goal against. Uh, just, our, again, that mental side of the game. Not concerning at all. Um, I like their resiliency when that happened. You split Hutch and Kosa pretty much 50-50 all season. Was that yeah. the plan from day one? Uh, no, I think it's just the way it's working. Both goalies are, are playing well. I think Kosa's playing really well, too. So he'll start tomorrow. Um, yeah, if both goalies are going now, they're rested. They're ready to play instead of using them back to back. We're going to start playing a lot of hockey here. Uh, so it's important that these two guys are rested. Is there a situation where you would ride a hot hand or not the way the schedule looks? As of right now, probably not. Not unless, not unless one really takes over the other one. Um, but yeah, I would kind of take that week by week. Talk about Casper's play lately. He seems to be really figuring it out. Yeah, he is. You know, I think the competitive side of him, we're really seeing him get inside bodies and play through hands and, and make plays. You know, and that, that's the biggest thing. You see that net front, he goes to the net front, scores a goal. Uh, he's getting rewarded for all the hard work he's put in so far. And that's, that's the beauty about this. You see their development. Now they're getting rewarded. Now they're playing with confidence. And uh, he's playing at a high level. And Berger, and he seems to kind of have a, a swagger to him these days. Have you noticed that? And yeah, he loves the puck. You know, when the puck's on a stick, he can make things happen, and, and that's what he, he wants that. He wants that pressure to, to make plays and create some offense. That's what he's here for. And, um, again, another guy who's playing with confidence that wants to, wants to help us win. Been on a pretty incredible run since the end of December. Was there a turning point at all in this season where 
things just start clicking, or how do you explain the system I, I that you've been on? I think it's the guys uh, playing more as a team, uh, gelling inside the locker room. I think we had some t tough conversations before the break at Christmas, just where we're at, the expectations, the standards. We want to be better, and, and our guys have put in the work, and, and we've been better. So credit to them for that. Did you ever really think that in November when you guys were kind of around fifth or sixth in the division that you'd be up tied with Texas coming out of the breaks in second place? And, you know, I know we still have a couple months left. Yeah. Like home ice advantage maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's beyond what I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking about tomorrow. But in, in terms of November, like, I knew it was going to take a little bit of time. We had a lot of new faces, a lot of young guys. There's going to be some adversity. I liked how we handled some of that adversity. I thought at times we were playing really well, just not getting the bounces for goals. And, uh, you know, again, sticking with it, sticking with the process we have here. And now we're, we're seeing the benefits of it.